Hey, so this is a response to a question on YouTube about how do you make text so that the um, the spaces between letters don't fall out. Uh, and so an example of that is, um, so like on this project, you'll notice that the A, if if it were sort of a normal font, that that hole in the middle of the A would fall out of your cut. And um, in typography, these are called counters, I believe, like the circle of the O within an O, um, A, B has this, E would have this issue. Um, and so the the quick way to deal with this is just to use what are called stencil fonts, which are made for this um, application. So if I create a new blank project in Cuddle, um, an easy way to get the stencil fonts is to go to Browse All Shapes and then drag out a stencil font. And then I can type um, whatever I want. And then you'll notice that these are the kinds of fonts that have these, um, these like connectors, these bridges to the islands within the text. So, you know, if I just had a typical font and I wrote that same word, then that part of the E would fall out and that part of the A would fall out. And there are a bunch of stencil fonts that are built in to Cuddle. So on any text, if you go to the font picker, there are various categories of fonts here. And you'll notice there's this category called stencil. And all of these fonts have the property that they um, they connect the the counters the islands within the letters out. So if you use one of these fonts, you don't have to worry about those holes in the middle of your characters in the middle of your letters falling out. Um, and so there are a bunch of these that are built into Cuddle. Um, that's probably the easiest way to go. Just pick one of these. If you are dead set on another font and you just want to connect the the islands, um, I can show you how I would go about that in Cuddle. So let's say I'm dead set on using this font, but I really want to connect the, the counter is so that um, these holes don't fall out. The way I would go about this is using the flatten modifier and some white like rectangles that are gonna be my bridges. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna select this text. I'm going to give it a fill. So I just checked the fill um, check mark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a black fill so that I can um, really see what what's going on with it. And then I am going to, so I need to connect that A, for example. I'm going to drag out a rectangle and resize it. I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel. Something like that. And then this, I want to sort of break that that bar of the A so that the, the island is connected to the outside. I'm going to give this rectangle a fill of white. And by filling something with white, we're going to be able to um, make that connection, so to speak. So um, there's that white uh, rectangle. Um, it has a hairline stroke, and this will be okay. You can leave this on, but um, you can also turn off the stroke to make it more clear that, like, okay, this is going to be negative space on the, the A. And then I'm going to just select this and copy using the, my keyboard shortcuts, Command-C and Command-V, to make another 
one that's going to break up the the e here. So now um, I've drawn in these white rectangles that will sort of knock out that those areas of the um, black text. And then I'm going to select everything and do modify flatten. And when I do flatten, that will take the black and white things, do sort of all the positive and negative stuff in order to give you the cuts that you need. And then I'm going to check this stroke result check checkbox on flatten. And then that will help me confirm that this is indeed going to be cutting out these um, sort of these areas. And um, in particular, it's going to do the right thing around my counters on the A and the E. Uh, so hopefully this answers your question. The easy way, just use a stencil font. If you want to do something fancy and um, you know, you've, you're dead set on some other font and you just want to make it into a stencil font, you can use this technique that I showed of putting the rectangles in order to sort of connect the islands to the rest of your material. Um, so now, you know, if you were to cut this out, it would, it would work, work well and you um, wouldn't lose your uh, islands in the A and the E. All right, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.